The AIDS virus still can't be entirely eliminated, but taken properly, antiretroviral treatments prevent it from multiplying. In theory, the viral load of HIV-positive people on efficient treatment is low, but this all changes when patients take treatment irregularly or the virus becomes resistant to drugs. The treatment then ceases to be effective and the virus starts multiplying again. The best way to quickly measure the amount of virus in the blood is the viral load test. Medical staff can then offer patients advice on how to better adhere to treatment and, when necessary, modify their prescriptions. Until recently, there were only two methods for measuring the viral load. The first requires drawing blood and separating the plasma, but it needs to be kept at a cool temperature – no easy task in some settings where MSF works. The second involves putting some drops of blood on blotting paper, which then has to be transported and handled in a central laboratory. Medical staff often have to wait several weeks for the results. There was need to develop more simple tests that could be done where patients actually receive treatment. MSF has cooperated in the development of one such test with a research laboratory based in Cambridge in the UK. Thanks to unit aid funding, SAMBA has been used for the past three years to measure patients' viral loads in Malawi and Uganda. Blood samples are analysed in two hours, which means patients get their results the same day and the medical team can make swift adjustments to their treatment. Obtaining results of viral load tests quickly facilitates patient follow-up. Treatment is more effective and consultations can be extended to once every six months, if not longer. And for the medical staff, it means more time to care for patients with greater needs.